was supposed to have a, if if I had a conversation with Richard and I published it on my uh, Twitter page, that would bring a lot of attention to the Hex project. And because because it is a sophisticated marketing tool that pulls people in, then uh, if you already know, like if you are an Ethereum person or a Bitcoin person and you already have the, um, if you already think that this project is harmful, it doesn't contribute, uh, it doesn't innovate, it's just uh, pulling people in and then getting them into this weird casino game where there are, where you're staking your hex and trying to figure out when to sell it before everybody else does. If, if that's your viewpoint, then bringing any, any more focus to the hex project uh, is only detrimental. And so if I, if I, if I discussed with Richard and it, uh, the, the clip uh, got traction, then people would say that I'm helping uh, Richard market his project through uh, my uh, audience base. So I would receive a lot of cr criticism for that. And honestly, personally, I don't have anything to gain by, uh, you know, I don't have anything to earn by uh, getting into the crossfire of these communities. So if there are things, if there are things that people want me to address and discuss around the Hex project, I can do it in a more low profile way. So if they want to hear my views on the project, I can do it this way. Everyone can get uh, uh, access to this conversation if they want to, but I won't have to deal with uh, all the people that would criticize and harass me uh, for giving Richard a platform to market his project. And it is also, I mean, I think it is also understood and quite well known that when the Hex project was launching, uh, it was an intentional strategy by Richard uh, to market his project by debating prominent Bitcoiners, because he is a good debater. Uh, so he has the ability to make someone like Stefan de Vera uh, look very stupid just by not being a good, uh, as good of a debater as he is. And that makes people think, okay, so Richard is the, um, the, the uh, intellectually superior opponent in this discussion. So why would I prefer the currency that Stefan de Vera uses and not just go with Richard's currency instead. So uh, because Richard is charismatic and a good debater, uh, no matter like what is the thing that he's actually uh, advocating for, he's going to be able to pull people into that project. And that's why uh, you as an influencer, you have an ethical responsibility to, uh, you know, not make that happen, not give Richard that platform.